Top 10 Creepy Pastas with Terrifying Backstories 10. The Strangest Security Tape I've Ever Seen The strangest security tape I've ever seen is a creepy pasta written by Redditor Powerhawkmish, originally posted to the Nasleep subreddit in May 2012. An unnamed convenience store worker is given the store's security tapes by his boss and told to watch them to determine if his co-worker Jeremy is stealing gallons of oil. After seeing things start to repeat themselves and finding that Jeremy doesn't show up to work the next day he and his boss make plans to call the police, again and again and again. And things only get worse from there. 9. Haunted Kaishin Hospital In 2009, a Japanese TV crew goes to a haunted hospital to explore, saying that it is a popular place for teenagers to hang out and ghost hunt, and also a hot place for catching spirits in photos. The reporter interviews a man who claims that he and some friends went into the hospital to test their courage and take photos, but they soon encountered bizarre circumstances and one of them was injured. The noticeably scared reporter agrees to explore and begins poking around the hospital. She begins taking photos as she wanders the dark halls. She soon however, finds the camera that the kids dropped during their own visit. As she looks through the images, she begins to see strange things appear in the frame. Suddenly, she lets out a blood-curdling scream. The video then explains that they were able to later slow down the footage, and spotted a ghostly nurse standing in a doorway, reflected in a mirror. After the reporter's screams, the cameraman goes off on his own, only to encounter a ghostly surgeon holding what appears to look like a baby covered in blood and screams. The footage repeats but slowed down. Eight, Jeff the Killer, if you've never laid eyes on the infamous image of Jeff the Killer before, consider yourself lucky. The basic story concerns Jeff, a serial killer who hides in the closet and whispers go to sleep to its victim before slaughtering everyone in the household. Even more disturbing than his M.O. is his appearance his face is smooth and stark white, a huge grin and small lidless eyes. He is one of the most easily recognizable creepy pastas, with his eerie stare posted across forums. His origin story involves a fight that resulted in a chemical burn on his face and caused him to suffer a mental break. Soon after, he murdered his family and disappeared into the night to make guest appearances in your nightmares. 7. Ghost Ambulance of Monterrey, Mexico This next creepypasta story is a series of real-life videos that come from Monterrey, Mexico. According to the story, a man was murdered on the street of Ave del Paraiso, San Nicolas de los Garza, Nuevo Leon. He was taken to the scene aboard a car, and his perpetrators shot him at point-blank range. He passed away just as the ambulance arrived to pick him up. The roadside cross now marks the site of the tragic event. But here's where things get strange. Drivers began to realize that every time they drive by this roadside cross while listening to radio station 690 AM, 
their car stereo reception was interrupted, interrupted by the unexplainable sound of an ambulance siren. No pueden ocultarse. Esto es una realidad absoluta. El mundo ahora está con la cruz. La cruz. Un enfoque diferente del deporte. Con Roberto Hernández Contreras, Víctor Manuel Hernández y Roberto Hernández Palacio. ¿Qué dice? Que guarda el Y vamos a subir la estación de radio. A ver qué pasa. Six, Squidward Suicide. Squidward Suicide is one of the best known creepy pastas. The original story, which involves the character Squidward Tentacles killing himself, spawned fan videos and a meme of a black and white image of Squidward with glowing red eyes and dripping black tears. Five, Sally Williams. Sally Mariam Williams, more commonly known as just Sally, is the main protagonist of the creepypasta story Play With Me. She is a female spirit who was killed by her uncle and is relatively passive in nature, especially towards kids. 4. Smile Dog if there's any story on this list that best captures the message be careful what you wish for, Smile Dog is it. The creepypasta deals with an image posted on an old bulletin board system back in 1992 called Smile.jpg. Those who saw the image either disappeared or died, save for one Mary E., who the narrator goes to interview. What he eventually learns is that some things, even simple pictures, are better left as mysteries than dealing with the horrifying truth. In case you were wondering, the story does come with an accompanying image, but you may not want to see it after reading the full story. Though, in the end, you may not have a choice. Three. The Russian Sleep Experiment, a staple of best creepypasta lists everywhere, the title of the story itself carries with it a sense of dread and horror. Shortly after World War II, five political prisoners are subjected to an experiment in which they have to remain awake for 30 days in a tank filled with an experimental gas. As with most science gone wrong stories, the test subjects begin to lose their minds among a number of other gruesome symptoms. The horror does not end when the experimenters try to save their subjects far from it. Just know that this story may not be appropriate if you are squeamish or dislike gore, as the narrative goes into graphic detail about the physical state of the patients. Thankfully there are no pictures, or this would be the ultimate nightmare fuel. 2. Tails Dull When you play the video game, Sonic R, but not just any Sonic R, but this particular game of Sonic R is cursed. By unlocking a certain chain of events in the video game and with the song, 
can you feel the sunshine, playing in the background, you have just summoned a Tails doll, which is a stuffed doll version of Tails. When summoned, Tails doll will come out of the TV to collect your soul, which he hungers for, 1. Robert the doll, not for the faint of heart, Robert the doll really exists. The myths surrounding him vary, especially since he became so popular on the internet. The doll was given to artist Robert Eugene Otto in the late 1800s or early 1900s by his grandfather while he was on a trip to Germany. The doll, which he named after himself, then took on a life of its own and began to scare the family. Otto is said to have kept his doll into adulthood and it subsequently led his late wife to insanity. The doll is currently residing in the Fort East Martello Museum in Key West, Florida. Visitors must ask Robert politely if they want to take his photo. If they mock him or take his photo without permission, Robert is said to lay a curse on them.